like receiving more power, move to another pew. Because one person can put a thousand to flight. High five your neighbor and tell your neighbor two can put 10,000 to flight. Come on. That neighbor here returned to someone else, that neighbor acting a little sleepy, returned to another neighbor and said, Two can put 10,000 to flight. Two can put 10,000. The power of two. The power of two. Yeah. Let me share a story with you. Late in the darkness of the sky, around 2 a.m., a couple were camping on a mount that hang over the countryside some hundreds of miles away from the city. Just as they were doing some food, making some food and marshmallows and s'mores and with Nutella chocolate, bubbly natural apple cider with golden graham crackers, and while they were roasting some chestnuts under, after they were indulging in some pure cocoa tea, mm, Past memories and secrets began to unravel as the flame kindled under the tent of the dark. The woman that were there felt that this moment was a, a romantic escapade, so she decided to pose questions originated from her inner doubt. She began to ask questions to her fellow, and she began to ask him some deep-rooted issue questions that she always wanted to ask him. And after she asked him, the young man began to become offended by the question, filled with some doubt about the whole ordeal that he stormed off walking away down a path that was designed for two. He knew it, but his pride allowed emotional and mental burdens that seemed like a thousand boulders strapped to his back. After walking down the uneven path that was meant for two, snow fell down the side of the hill upon him. He already had some shoulder issues with some connective scar tissues. What would be easy for two or even one person with fair functioning connective muscle, um, fair muscles is now a feat that became impossible for one to beat. The weight of the snow weighed down on his little frame and would require a, a, a nerve push by someone else who couldn't help him. Uh, I need someone to turn to your neighbor and say, I, I need you. I, I, I need you. And the Lord God said, for it is written in Genesis 2.18, it is not good for man to be alone. I shall make him a helpmate opposite of him. I love this because we have been taught that when you get with someone, you bring half of yourself and the next person bring a half of themselves and you become whole. The devil is a liar. You are already whole by yourself. You are just bringing to someone else who is opposite of you what they needed. And so you become, you become extra in addition to what they already had and so he went down this path that was designed for how many two. two and what would be easy for one man but because he had bad scar tissues in his shoulder he could not push what was supposed to be easy off of him this man was whole already but catches he lacked the extracellular matrix that was helping to help him to manage much on his own for his muscles did not have sufficient oxygen to be able to heal him correctly. Could it be that the element we lack the most is who have been prematurely let go from our life? I did not hear anyone. Could it be that you have prematurely let go of, of that person that was supposed to be in your life before a certain desired time? 
time. I didn't say what, but could it be the element that you need, that natural occurring, oh my God, substance that keeps you afloat? Could it be that you let go the people that you needed to hold fast to? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to get on your street. The very, because I can't hear anybody, entity God has joined with and is in uh, is the very thing that we have detached from when tension uh, became present. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Let no man separate what God has joined or put uh, together. This man was walking away from the woman that helps his walk. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. I'm preaching to myself and I need to hear it. When I get silent, praises need to raise. The man was walking away from the woman that helps his walk. Uh, she was taken from his side to be at his side. Uh, not behind of him as he was walking away because situations got tough. Uh, because the tension got too much. But this woman was meant to be at his side walking down a path that was designed for two. Uh, tell your neighbor, I, I need you. I need you, I need you, I need you. I, I, matter of fact, I need to, I need to high five your neighbor and say, I need you too. I need you too. I need you too. I need you too. In Luke's gospel, Jesus matches, I love this, what God has purpose in Genesis through mankind. Jesus, in the book of Luke, chapter 10, matches exactly what God has purpose in the book of Genesis uh, uh, pertaining to mankind. Check this. In chapter 2 of the First Testament, uh, as it was not good for man to be alone, it is also not good for man who has been appointed don't miss this, appointed to be alone. Watch this. The first thing to note with the power of two is that the pair must be hand-picked by God. It must be hand-picked by God. Jesus hand-picks as each person has been made by God, and apart from God, nothing has been made. What we do wrong is picking on our own based on passion and pleasure. I'm in the script. I'm, I'm, I'm in the script. I'm going to help you here. God picks differently, uh, but we pick based on passion and pleasure. I was watching over the past week the Smash series called Rain. It's on CW, written by CW itself. And Rain is a powerful Smash series. And what we learn through Rain is that the plot reminds us of how primal peers are. How important peers are. A poor pairing, catch this, could cost you your life. Y'all don't want me to be real in here. Y'all, y'all don't want me to be real in here. Okay, let me, let me. Okay, let me just, let me let's think a little bit. It could weaken and make it make you more vulnerable to the enemy. If you want me to say, cost your life. It would weaken you and make you more susceptible to the enemy. Catch this. Uh, some of us have been sleeping with the devil. Mm. We've been whispering sweet nothings in the devil's ear. And we've been sharing with the enemy everything that God gave to us to keep within us until the right time. We have not waited, oh my God, for the appointment and the action to meet each other. That we have allowed assignments, my God, of the enemy to become that which you speak off of your tongue and share your heart's desire. We've been sleeping with the devil, sharing secrets with spies who've been hired only to watch your every move, 
sharing with them exactly what your lowest moment is, that they can now plan how to take your life, how to take you out, and how to take what God has given you. Uh, but the devil is alive. Today we're going to learn about the power of two and what it means to pair with the right people, what it means to partner with purpose, and what it means literally to know who you are to be joined with. Uh, the second thing to note here with the power of two is that the pair, catch this, uh, the pair must be hand posted by God. Huh? Hand posted. What do you mean by posted? Hand posted by God. How can we go unless the Lord sent us? God, through Jesus, gave them this, the direction and instruction of where to go. God, through Jesus, told them what to do. But I love this here. I love this. I love this. Quite often, God would initially tell you to go and not tell you exactly what to do. Hmm. My God. Jesus told them what or where that they need to go before he gave them instructions of what exactly to do. And some of us right now waiting on his instructions of what to do when God is saying you just need to go. Mm. You've been waiting on everything to fall in place when Jesus is saying, you just need to go. Don't miss this. Don't miss this because you're distracted. Don't miss this because of the proclamation. Catch this in your spirit. God is speaking to everyone under the sound of my voice. And those of you in social media, uh, you're over there right now, but you're right here. God is saying there's some things right now that that you have been waiting on and you're trying to wait on me to tell you A, B, C, D and you just need to go. You just need to go into the first step and you need to just walk into the A before you can get into the B. You're waiting on everything to be perfect and I'm saying I've appointed you in this time for the assignment. Wait on me to tell you what to do. Just go. I love this because it excites me to know <laughs> ah, that the do comes after the go. Ah, and God gives us one step at a time to test our walk up the staircase of faith. If you get ever, oh, that was so good. Let me slow it down. Yeah, I'm missing it. Every line is tweeted. It should be twittable. It's good. He <laughs> literally gives you one step at a time to test our walk up the staircase of faith. You cannot know every step, and you should not be able to see every step because it takes away from faith. Yes, faith yes, comes yes, by hearing. Yes, what are you worrying yes, about yes. seeing? Uh, that's good. Someone should preach that. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. While we always look to see, we always want to see. I want to see if they really say. I want to see if they really deliver. I saw you last week. You saw what you saw on the surface. But faith works by hearing. I heard the Lord said that I am yes. different. Yes. I looked at my hands and they were new. I looked at my feet, they were new too. I looked and saw that God spoke to me and my life changed. Yes. Some of us use what we see, my God, as the standard for what God is doing in the spirit. But faith functions even when we don't understand Amen. what it's doing. How faith functions behind the surface of carnality. Even if I don't see it, my faith tells me because I heard it that God will do it. 
And so I believe five of you will catch this on the virtue of the spirit of the living God that today because of the word you will hear what God is saying concerning your parents. Yes. The power of how many? Two. The power of two. two. Mm. Ah, yeah, yeah. If God be the creator and he is the test giver, God knows what you are made of. Yeah. Because yeah. he has prepared you and yeah. fashioned you. Therefore, yeah. he knows what you are able to do and yeah. prosper in. But catch this, sometimes we don't know what's happening because the paper looks black and all the lines look a little lengthy and we don't know the answer. Let me just use what I've heard from Facebook and Pinterest. There was a teacher that was given a test and she gave the test and the young boy on all the questions and he said, Jesus. He did not know the answer, and Jesus was the answer for every yes. black line. Yes. The yes. church has yes. forgotten that yes. Jesus is the key to all our problems. And we have doors that are locked, but we're not using the key, which is Jesus. And the answer key should be Jesus all the way down, but we're looking elsewhere to get answers in other places. When Jesus said, if you would get hooked up with me, I will pair you with someone who will give you the power of two. Oh, hmm. Yes. Jesus. Jesus is the answer. Hallelujah. I feel God. Hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. hallelujah. Just get your hands right now. Mm. I believe there's a release even now over your life. Yes. Hallelujah. That God is going to open up your spirit even the more as we go in this moment of deliberation. And he will tell you who is supposed to be paired with you. I believe God is sending a word that should cling to your heart and your side. The way you go, it doesn't matter what comes against you, what falls on your back. I don't care if the snow falls from the hillside. You're not going to move without the word being attached to you that will give you the strength I, 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 to give you the power to overcome those obstacles. The power of two. The power, yes, the power of two. Yeah. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Don't push me too much. It is Luke 10. Hallelujah. Jesus sends them. I like this too. He sends them to a place to be... Catch this. He sends them to a place before him as a peer. This is good. Not any random place, my God, but where he would soon follow. Mull on this, mull on this, mull on this. Your faith leads you where he would fellowship. It's in the text. I'm talking about anywhere else, but in Luke 10, he sends them ahead of where they, oh my God, of where he will soon follow. He, he paired them up and said, go ahead of me and I will soon follow you. My God, if you miss that, your faith would go and he would follow. That means where your feet, faith leads you according to Luke 10, my God, it's going to be met with the fellowship, my God, of Jesus Christ. Someone ought to celebrate that, knowing that your faith is not leading you uh, to a dead end, but it's leading you towards the destiny of the Lord Jesus Christ in you. Because when he sends you, he's saying, I know already that it's already set up, my God, for success just go just go just go tell your neighbor just go just go just go but don't don't miss this go with who he paired you with go with who he sent my god along with you yes. to that place jesus this is good y'all hallelujah last but certainly in that least The power of two is one that peer, the peer must be the handwork of God. 
the handwork of God. Not only should it be hand posted by God, which means he's delivering and sending you. Not only should it be hand picked by God, I mean he selects, he chose, he, cho he chooses how he wants to do it. But it also, my God, my God, my God, my God, you also are the handwork of God. <laughs> the handwork of God. Handwork is designed or defined to be a term that is dear to each of us, for it becomes personal work. Uh, for you to be the handwork of God, you are the personal work of God. Your hand is literally doing the works of God. Ephesians 2, 10 states it like this. For we are God's handiwork. A created in Christ Jesus to do good works. I love this here though. Which God prepared in advance for us to do. Oh my God. So could it possibly be that Jesus appoints these 72 and he puts them in here to go ahead. But God already prepared the work for them. So that when they get there, everything is done well. Now, I know earlier I talked about the 72, and I said that I, some texts talk about 70. If I could just jump up here for a moment, hallelujah. When Jesus, according to Luke 10, when he decided to handpick these, these persons, these 72, uh, catch this. God the Father who sees what the Spirit searches and the Son selects. So the Son selects, my God, who God the Father already sees and what the Spirit already searches. In this text here, Jesus selects 72. And those 70 is also supported by other texts. I believe Luke in this here narrative it's 72 because two once again signifies the power of two there's a power that goes forth because all throughout the gospel we see how jesus is using pairing with his disciples and so i believe by saying 72 there was extra exaggerative my god means by what happens by merit of the demonstration of the holy ghost when there is two, my God, that's touching and agreeing, there I am in the midst. I believe in Matthew 18 that says, again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done in them by the Father in heaven. Y'all notice where there's two or three gathered together in my name, I and there, I believe by saying two more, it's signifying the power of two. And there is something that happens as a result of the two that everyone has seemingly left out. There's something that happens when God is moving by his spirit and God is saying, I'm going to appoint and select and I'm going to, oh my God, send out two more paired up, my God, to do my will as in contrast to the 70. Now, the handwork of God. Here it is. Don't miss this. Verse 2. A words from Jesus huh. and Jesus says the harvest is plentiful but the laborers are few he said ask the Lord of the harvest therefore to send out workers into his harvest field oh my god the world is the Lord's and the fullness there up. But let me remix this just a little bit. Oh my God. The earth is now the field is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. My God. Not only that Jesus caused the field a harvest field. That means this field is not just any simple field. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay in the spirit. The field is a harvest field 
field. That means Jesus is already saying that the field is ripe for picking. Mm -hmm. My yes. God. But what has happened is that we are busy, my God, seeing salvation, as Pastor John Gray would say, instead of seeding salvation. Oh, my God, we want to see salvation, but we are called to seed salvation. My God, what you're saying, Pastor Moss, you ought to be planting seeds and allowing God to do the work to cause the increase. Someone else may water it, and God will get the increase and the glory, but we want to see the salvation. We want to see what God is going to do at the end. God is saying, just do your personal work as I've called you to be the handwork of God. Jesus calls the field a harvest field. I need each of you right now to get back in participation and you need to high five, nudge and knock your neighbor. I said, it's reaping time. It's reaping. It's reaping. It's reaping time. It's reaping time. Ah, oh, my God. Turn to another neighbor and say, it's time for reward. Ah, oh, it's time for reward. It's time for reward. It's time for a reward. For the book of Ecclesiastes says it like this. Two are better than one, my God. Because they have a good reward for their work or for their toil. Appear that is the handwork of God knows that they must work together. The Bible in the book of Amos says do to walk together unless they agree to meet. I this oh my God, I declare and I decree by virtue of what you are hearing today, you will begin to walk with those you agree with. And even when those around you, God has paired with you, I do not agree with the anointing and the authority I believe God right now will begin to shift the heart yeah. of those you appeared with until they begin to agree with what thus said the Lord that they are much more than what people have enabled them to be they are much more than their jobs have enabled them to be they are much more than their neighborhood has enabled them to be that they are a part of a royal priesthood a Chosen generation. I love this. You are peculiar because God has given you something that's principle for what you need. And the parent in your life is only an example of how God loves you. And there is the working power of two. Preach. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> If you don't know the answer uh, to the question, uh, do two walk together unless they have agreed to meet? Uh, uh, just put Jesus oh, yeah. and the teacher. Uh, uh, Jesus cannot mark it wrong. Uh, he cannot mark that wrong. Uh, because in Mark's gospel, Mark writes, hallelujah, and he being Jesus, uh, he summoned the twelve. Uh, and he began to send them out in pairs, uh, uh, two by two, uh, and he gave them authority. Uh, yes, he gave them authority over unclean spirits. Uh, uh, I need each of you to understand that when God appoints you, uh, he gives you authority. Uh, he gives you authority. Uh, someone shout it with me. Uh, he gives you authority. Uh, he gives you authority. Uh, because after, catch this, alpha, uh, after alpha, after A comes B. Uh, and I believe, uh, just like the scripture, behold, 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 uh, how good uh, and how pleasant uh, it is for brothers uh, to dwell together in unity. Uh, uh, some of y'all missing this. Uh, for in unity, hallelujah, God bestows, that's another B, his blessings. Uh, and God has blessed, my God. God, who Jesus has paired. Yes. God blesses who he has paired. 
I believe some of y'all missing this. Uh, he's giving you authority, uh, uh, but you're missing the behold. Uh, when he gives you authority, uh, he then come, my God, uh, wows you. Uh, someone needs to be wowed by Jesus. Uh, when the word behold pop up in scripture, that means uh, wow, God. Uh, wow, God. I'm astonished, God. Uh, behold. The scripture says, uh, wow, uh, when brethren dwell together in unity, uh, something happens. Uh, there's blessings that are received. Some of y'all looking around uh, and you're not looking up. Uh, wow, God, uh, that when I'm paired with the right person, uh, you bless me. Uh, wow, God, uh, when I'm paired together with the right person, uh, you seem to bestow more on me. Wow, God, uh, when I'm paired together with the right person, Benefits uh, come to me. Uh, uh, I decree and declare. Uh, wow, must follow me uh, because I'm paired with someone who brings the power of two. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grab the person beside you. Uh, uh, not just because that person is beside you, but because that person has been providentially positioned next to you. And if they're near you, they gotta be, re oh my God, they need to be receptacles, oh my God, for the pairing of what God is about to do. Uh, begin to pray for that person. Uh, and begin to praise on behalf of that person. Uh, uh, begin to open up your mouth uh, uh, because that person sat next to someone uh, who's about to be wowed uh, by the bounty of God uh, and be wowed because they are in the power and the midst of a good parent. I uh, uh, begin to pray for that person. I uh, begin to praise for that person. I uh, begin because that person is near you. Uh, that person will begin to say what God says uh, that there's power of two. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, still not convinced everyone got this. Huh? I'm still I still I'm still not convinced huh? that some of you got this. Huh? This word is prophetic concerning you. Uh, if you believe, you need to grab hold of it uh, and say, wow, God, it's for me. Uh, it's oh my God, it's for me, God. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. There is a, some of you, keep praying, keep praying. Oh, keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. Oh, keep praying, keep praying. Uh, there is a, there's a type of horse called the Belgian horse. Uh, the Belgian horse, this, this horse is, is powerful. And this horse, as shown on the screen, but you need to keep praying. Uh, this, this type of horse, uh, is, is, is known to be able to move 7,000 pounds mm. by itself. Hey, uh, 7,000, my God, I love God for this. This horse is able to move how many, Keisha? 7,000 pounds, I love this. Uh, but the good thing about this, when this horse pairs with another horse, uh, without being trained, not 14, but 15,000 pounds. Uh, don't miss me, don't miss me, don't miss me. Uh, uh, there's something that happens when these horses get together. 